All right, you made it. Round four, level two. We're moving up. All right, as promised, we're gonna do stuff on your back. You've got your low back pressing into the mat or the sofa or the bed, wherever you're at. You've got your opposite leg that we're working bent up to support your spine. And now what we're gonna do is pull the toes to the nose, tighten the thigh so the knees stay straight as you slide your leg out and in. We're gonna do 20. Good, count out loud. Three. That's three. Good. You should absolutely feel this in your stomach muscles. They're not only pressing the low back into the bed, but they help suspend that leg. And that's the main goal of our work right here. So you're getting a lot of good hip work, but we really want to focus on that core today. Help prevent back injuries, help with good posture, standing tall, walking tall. Now we're going to bend this knee up. Goes right into the other leg, straighten, toes to nose, One, out and in. Two, Fantastic. Three, your thighs are going to burn four, because that's what's keeping your leg nice five, and straight at the knee. Six. As you slide it out and seven, in. If you have pain, eight, don't try to hold the leg up. Just eight, slide it out and in. There's always a, a nicer, more gentle variation that I want you to go to before you stop altogether. If this movement just hurts, even if you make it very, very small, then don't do it. Go back to the one we did before and do some more of those or do something with your arms. Bring them up and down and a little bench press. Woohoo! Couple deep breaths. Remember, fill those lungs up. Breathe in, fill up like a balloon, then deflate. Then go ahead and switch knees again. This one goes out, and it comes toward me, and in. Toes to the nose. Beautiful job. She can keep kicking me, it's okay. I should get out of her way. Very nice. 11, 12, Remember, this stays very 13, straight at the knee. 14, I'm going to get out of the way 15, so you can see what she's doing. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Always bend that opposite knee. There you go. Three, Yay. Remember to make your workout fun. 13, if you want to turn my mouth off 14, and put on your favorite music, 15, I fully support that. 16, you do whatever you need to do to look forward to this time with me. 18, Five minutes each hour. Woohoo! Okay, moving on to heel slides. Bend the one knee that you're not working up. The other leg slides up and down. 20. Using those abdominals to help pull the leg up. Good. You should definitely feel your abdominals pressing the low back into the bed. Good. That knee stays bent. Other leg. Up and down. Come on, you're doing great. You can do it. We're getting close. Close to the end of this round. Close to the end of today. 
It's just one more after this. Come on, you got it. Woohoo! Water. We need a water break. Behind you. <laughs> All right, go ahead and sit up for this one. Roll onto your side. She's going to show us a good log roll. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Here we go. Take a water break. We need to stay hydrated. Air conditioners and heaters, they dehydrate us. So, whatever the season is, it doesn't matter. You gotta drink your water. Okay, we're gonna lay on your side now. We wanna wake up that rotator cuff. So, she's gonna go down on her side with the shoulder we're working close to this edge right here, the edge of the sofa. If she can hang this entire arm off, she will. Because she has a hip replacement, we want to keep her from breaking her hip precautions. So we're going to put this pillow in. Now that she's in perfect alignment, her <coughs> elbow is going to be at 90 degrees. And she's going to externally rotate, internally rotate to her stomach. Her elbow is glued to her rib cage. So all that's Three. moving is the shoulder Three. in an external rotation, internal rotation. Four. We're going to do 20. Five. So if this seems like a weird movement to you, Six. you have 20 repetitions to get used to it. Seven. <laughs> she's got Eight. a down pat, and she still thinks it feels Five. weird. This is not a movement that we normally Ten. do, but this is a movement that every Eight. athlete does. I train all of my tennis players, my baseball pitchers, my volleyball servers, uh, my firemen. <clears throat> I mentioned my, my cowboy father um, who does a lot of roping. The rotator cuff is extremely important. 18, 19, One more. 20. Okay, we have to do the other arm now. So that's why we kind of had you pull it out from underneath you so that you can use it. This also is at 90 degrees at the elbow so that you can internally rotate and externally rotate. Only moving at the shoulder. That's perfect. Four, Great. Five, six, this is quite a bit more aggressive than the isometric we did. Seven, if this is uncomfortable, eight, if you're getting a lot of grinding, nine, then please back off. Give me half of that. You can even keep it right here and just do a little squeeze into the belly and relax. Squeeze into the belly, relax. She's got a large range of motion on this side, but we know that this is her injured shoulder, so you might see it look a little different when we flip over to do the opposite direction. Excellent. Now we're going to go back to that first arm. This one's going to rest. This one goes back into a 90 degree bend at the elbow. One, two, Again, if this is difficult for you to externally three, rotate, then make it very four, small and work right in close five, to your stomach. Six, seven, eight. Excellent. Nine. If you find yourself rolling back onto your back, then just go ahead and straighten up. There you go. 13. You're not going to fall off. 14. Make sure of it. <laughs> but you don't want that twist on your spine. 17. You want nice and straight. 18. 19. One more. 20. Good. Now we have to flip over and do the other side. This one. So, oh, yeah, Nine. you're right. <laughs> She's keeping me in line. <laughs> Three. Good. Don't forget that bottom Four. arm. And you're externally rotating, Six, internally rotating. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Eventually, you can add 11, little weights 12, or 13, little cans. 14, 
15, for resistance. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Now we're going to pause. Okay, welcome back. We went ahead and we flipped over so we could do the other side. Again, if you have a hip precaution, go ahead and throw that pillow so you don't break those hip precautions and internally rotate or cross the other leg. And now we're doing the same exact motions on this side. Your, knee, your elbow is at 90. It's glued to your side. You're going to externally rotate, internally rotate. You're just rotating mm -hmm. around that shoulder. Three, Beautiful. We're going to do 20 of those. Four, five, Making sure you're not rolling back six, onto your back and you're staying forward. Seven, She's very close to the edge eight, so that her shoulder is eight, almost hanging off. Count out loud to 20. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. One more. Come on. 20. Good. Rest the top <laughs> arm. Now the bottom arm is bent at 90, rotating into the stomach and out. Into the stomach and out. Two. Fantastic. Three. Again, if you've done this one a few times or for a couple of weeks five, consistently and you want to grab six, a small dumbbell, I'm all for seven, that. I do eight, these in the gym. I use, I think, four pounds because I have eight, some old shoulder injuries. 11, I'm pretty sure it's when 12, they threw me up at cheerleading practice and failed to catch me. Do not do a helicopter if anyone ever offers you that stunt. 16, 17, 18, 2 more, 19, 20. Now rest the bottom arm. Let's go back to the top one. 1, 2, She went right to it. So here this movement was completely new to her and it felt foreign and weird. And now she's already six, developing a muscle memory. Seven, her elbow is at 90, eight, glued to her rib cage, and she is just nine, rotating, working the rotator eight, cuff, which is a series of four nine, muscles that stabilizes the shoulder joint, nine, which is a very unstable joint. 13, and Fourteen, problems materialize with numbness and tingling, shooting 16, pains, an inability to lift 17, the arm, uh, frozen shoulders. 18, so 19, I don't think there's anyone that doesn't benefit from this movement right here. You can never have a rotator cuff two, that's too strong and too stable. Three, four, She's gone to the bottom arm. Five, six, but perfect transition. Seven, she hasn't lost her form, so make sure you're checking in with your form. There shouldn't be any bending or straightening at the elbow. You really want to isolate movement at the shoulder. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So. Okay, fantastic. So now we're moving on to round five. So we will see you standing for our big finale.